This video will walk you through the steps of setting up your Forethought Planner at the beginning of the year. So we're going to go to Forethought inside Eduphoria, and please make sure you're using Google Chrome. And then come down here in the bottom left and say Change My Settings, My Schedules. Now it's going to show last year's schedules in here. I want you to remove every schedule that's in here. To do this, you're going to click on the name of the schedule. You may just have one, you may have two, and then click on Remove. It's best to just start from scratch, and you may need to do that a couple times. So to start this process, we have Create a Schedule. Our first schedule is going to be called A Day, and then click on Next. Now within every A Day, there are more than one prep. So on this one, I'm going to add an entry. You have three options here. For your first day, which is usually A day, you're probably going to pick a course with learning standards. And that just means there's TEKS tied to your course. A course that mirrors another course in my schedule, you may only want to use that on the second day in the schedule, which may be a B day. And what that will do is just save you some typing. And the third option will be a special entry. So it's an A day, so I'm going to pick a course of learning standards and click on Next. Now here's the tree where you're going to find your class in. And I'm going to go ahead and click through and find my course. So I'm going to go to high schools because that's where I am. And I'm going to then click through and I'll, I'll give you a minute to do that as well. So after you've picked your course, then it's going to show up here in the entry title and all of the periods that you're teaching this year will show up there right underneath it. You can change the name of this if you would like. So some people may want to say this is my A Day animation and I've even had people at the end say I'm teaching this 2A, 3A, 4A. Whatever up there makes the most sense to you, you can change that and that will appear in your lesson plan every day. So for A Day, I need to figure out which of these sections are my A Day ones. And to do that, I'm going to flip over and look at my eSchool. So here's the plan planner that I'm setting up for this teacher. And I can see here on A Day, her 2A is a dash 9, TEC 22100 dash 9. And then she also has a 3A SPG dash 1 and a 3A dash 10 and a 4A-11. So those are the sections that I am then going to check on the other screen. And I'm just going to move this over a minute so you can kind of see how those line up. So go ahead and take a minute and check through all of yours. So hopefully you've put the right check marks in for this class on this day and then click Next. So that is your first prep on A Day. If you have a second prep, you're going to go through the process again, clicking on Add an Entry, finding your course from the tree of all of the different TEKS, and then lining it up with the correct section numbers that you reference from eSchool. I only have one prep on this day, so I'm just going to go ahead and click Next. Now I need to make my B-Day schedule. We're going to follow the same procedure. I'm going to add a schedule, B-Day. Add an entry. Now I'm going to have to decide do I want a learning standard or a mirror? And in this case, I'm going to choose a mirror so you can see what it looks like at the end. Because I chose mirror, it only shows me the entries on A Day. So I'm simply going to highlight it. It's going to grab all that information and drop it in. I am going to change the title here and change these as well. And then I'm going to go back and reference eSchool and check all these in. And I'll give you a minute to do that as well. You can see that I have all mine checked and I'm going to hit Next. Again, this is my only prep for this day, but if you had more, you would add them here. And Next. Those are both of my schedules. I do not need to add a third one, so I'll hit Next. And I'm done. And I'll hit Begin Using Forethought. So what you're going to see when you come in is the first thing it's going to say is do I have an A day or a B day and I'm going to say A day. 
Now this template is the default template and we may want to change this. To change it, I need you to click once. When you click once on the screen, you bring in the editing features up here on the blue bar and the teaks over on the far right. At this point, you can highlight and take these out. And what we're going to use is the 5e template. So I'm going to go to my document where I have the 5e template. I'm going to hit Control A, which means select all. I'm going to hit Control and hold down C, which means copy. And then I'm going to come back in here and do Control V, which means paste. And you can see that my template comes in. I'm going to take out the teaks line because you know the teaks can be double clicked over from the side. If that's the way I like it to look every day, I'm going to come over here to the wrench, set as default text for the entry, and now hit save. And every day I say it's an A day, this will just appear. You need to set the default text for the entry for every entry on A day and every entry on B day. The third thing you probably want to do when you're starting to set up your planner is to come down here and go change my settings, share my planner. Now over here on the far left you can see all the people that have shared the planner with this teacher. These are all the people this teacher has shared the planner with. If you want to share your planner with additional people, click on Add a Teacher, type in their name or email address, and it will add them to the list. You may give people access to your planner, but these names over here on the far left, if you don't want them to share with you anymore, you need to contact them and say, Remove me from your list. And that's simply done by highlighting and hitting Remove from the person who owns the planner. If you have any questions about any of these procedures, please speak with your technology facilitator. Thank you.